students today we are going to do introduction to congruence basically number theory is a branch in mathematics and under number theory where we will be discussing modular arithmetic and in this the first concept is congruence so let us try to understand what is the meaning of congruence see this is how we write it a congruent b modulo n so let us try to understand what is the meaning of this thing now this means that n divides a minus b so the moment i write a congruent b mod n it means that a minus b is divisible by n or n divides a minus b or n divides b minus a so this is a basic meaning and basic definition of congruence for example if i write like this 18 congruent 3 mod 5 so tell me is this correct so how i will check i need to check whether 5 divides difference of 18 and 3 so what is 18 minus 3 18 minus 3 is 15 and yes 5 divides 15 so this is correct now same way if i write 18 congruent 3 mod 3 so again how i will check what is 18 minus 3 18 minus 3 is 15 and 3 divides 15 so yes this is correct now if i write 18 congruent 3 mod 2 now 18 minus 3 is what 15 2 divides 15 no so this is wrong it is not congruent so this is the basic meaning of congruence so whenever i write a congruent b mod n it means a minus b or b minus b is divisible by n so i can connect this concept to my division concept also right so now this is a basic definition now let us move further when i am writing like this e 18 congruent 3 mod 5 so you said yes 18 minus 3 is divisible by 5 but if i think about table of 5 so in table of 5 10 is also coming na right in table of 5 10 is also coming so if the difference is 10 then also it is correct so what i should place in place of 3 can i write 8 here so is this correct 18 minus 8 is what 10 10 is divisible by 5 so i am done so this is how i can replace the numbers same way now you think after 18 what is the number which comes in table of 5 it is 20 so if i want to bring 20 in picture i should write here minus 2 because 18 minus of minus 2 is 20 which is divisible by 5 so this is how the congruency is work this is also correct this is also correct and this is also correct now same one more example i take now suppose i am talking about 36 okay now 36 congruent and here i am writing mod 5 right now tell me what i should place at this place so that it works so i should think the table of 5 i should think the table of 5 i am taking 5 because it is very easy for you to remember the table and do i can have any number over here right so if i see in table of 5 5 7 are 35 i know and i am having one extra number over here so i'll put one here so this is correct correct now what else i can write i can very well write here 6 also because 36 minus 6 is 30 which 5 divides 30 i can also write 36 congruent 16 mod 5 because 36 minus 16 is what 20 which is divisible by 5 also if i write this minus 4 mod 5 this is also correct because 36 minus of minus 4 is 40 and 5 divides 40 so this is also correct so see i can have all these values over here now in question usually i prefer i should have a smallest number suppose you are solving certain question and you are getting this type of answer so you should reduce this to the smallest number this is a correct answer this is a correct answer but it is best to reduce it to the smaller number now how to do that now 16 is here so i write 16 congruent x mod 
mod I am not changing. 16 I want to convert to some other number. Now tell me what I should put in place of x. What I should subtract from 16 so that it become divisible by 5. Obviously 1. So 16 congruent 1 mod 5. So if you have this equation, you this equation you can always replace 16 by 1. Now suppose I said I don't want a negative number. So this minus 4 I want to replace by something. So that something let it be x and I will write here mod 5. Correct. Now tell me what I should write here so that it become divisible by 5. If I write minus 4 congruent minus 1 mod 5. Is it correct? Let me check minus 4 minus of minus 1. So it is the problem. So I will write plus 1. So minus 4 minus 1 is minus 5 which is divisible by 5. So I can replace minus 4 also here by 1. So see I am getting the smallest number. Right? This is how congruences work. Now this as I said it is connected to division. How come it is connected to division? That we will understand now. Now see one thing. When you divide any number. Suppose you have 23 and I am dividing it by 7. Okay. So 7 3 is a 21 and 2 is the remainder. So as per division algorithm how you write? You write this 23 as 23 is equal to 7 into 3 plus where 2 is a remainder. Correct? This we all know. Any number can be written like that. Right? Now same thing let us do with the variable. Suppose you are dividing a by n and you are getting some question and you are getting some remainder r. So compare it with that 23 and how I can write a? a is equal to n into q like there 7 into 3. So n into q plus r. Okay. Now this is a minus r is equal to n q. Now a minus r is equal to n q means what? It means that n divides a minus r. We have seen this type of structure earlier. The moment I am writing n divides a minus r means a congruent r mod n. So what I can conclude earlier I studied this thing. When I gave you the definition I told you this thing. So this b is basically the remainder when you divide two numbers. Now go back here. How I can write this situation in my congruence? I can write it 23 congruent. What is the remainder? 2. I am dividing by 7 mod 7. So my division is working like this. So where it is applied, I can very well find out the remainders when I am dividing the number. So that is the beauty of this topic. I can connect it to my division algorithm also. Okay. Now we are clear that my congruence concept is connected to the remainder concept, which I will be very often using. Now tell me one thing, what is the application? See, this concept is very important when I talk about cyber security, cryptography and all those topics. And a very everyday uh, example, you can see your clock. Now in your day, how many hours you have? You have 24 hours, but your basic clock is what? 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Correct. Now, see, this is a clock. Now, how congruence concept is used here, I'll tell you. Have you seen uh, time sometime they will mention 13, 14, 15. So, what exactly is this? The modulus here is 12. 12 hours I am using. Now, when I say okay, it is 16, so I write 16 congruent mod 12. Now, what I should write here? Tell me. From 16, what I should subtract so that it becomes divisible by 12? Obviously, I should subtract 4. 16 minus 4 is 12. So, that's the reason 4 o'clock we also write as 16. Right? Same way. If I want to write, uh, say, uh, you can write, if I talk to 13, 13 congruent mod 12. So, what I should subtract from 13 so that it becomes divisible by 12? 1. That's why 1 o'clock is also known as 13. 2 o'clock is known as 14. Let me check that. So, 14 congruent 2 mod 12. Working. So, 2 o'clock is also known as 14. 
So this is this I have gave you as just a simple example where it is used. Now, what type of question I can frame on this topic that you need to understand? So look at a basic question: seventy-eight plus x congruent three mod five. Now find the value of x. So how I will work for this? What does it mean? It means that if I do seventy-eight plus x minus three, five should divide it, right? So five should divide seventy-five plus x. Seventy-eight minus three is seventy-five. Now tell me what values of x I can have here. I can have zero because if I put x is zero, five divide seventy-five. What else? I can put five. Seventy-five plus five is what? Eighty. Working. I can put minus five. So this is how I can construct the question, basic questions based on definition, where I will find out the values of x. I can have x here. I can have x here. Only by basic definition you have to work. So in my next video, I will give you certain questions, and we will be solving all those questions. So in that way, you will understand the basic definition and the application of that basic definition. So see the next video for the questions. I will give you in the first slide all the questions, and then one by one we will solve the questions. So understand the, what is the basic concept? What you have learned? A congruent B mod n means A minus B can be divided by n, or n divides A minus B. And whenever I write like this, this B represent the remainder. So this is my key word. We will have five six types of question in next video. So you should understand the basic concept, and in next video we will do more questions. Thank you. Let's see the next video.